Manjusha, tell me about yourself. Okay, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Right my now. name is Manjusha. I am from Andhra Pradesh. I completed my graduation on Bachelor's of Technology in the stream of Electronics and Communication Engineering in the year 2024. I am perfect in one of the programming languages for Python and also one of the database languages MySQL. I have basic knowledge of frontend languages like HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Very good. I did a project in, in my academics that is uh, optimized home appliances management using mm -hmm. Dynamo Forest algorithm. Okay. I used Python in this project and I did an internship in my academics also in full stack Python course. It is a three months of duration time, sir. My hobby is uh, I improve my knowledge mm -hmm. um, while I am working on my current course uh, that I am learning. Okay. And my strength is I am a hard worker and I, and I am a self-motivated person. My weakness is I work um, continuously until the work completed, Very but good. I always um, finish that work within the time, sir. My goal is to become a software engineer. Oh. Very good, madam. Very good. So, just tell me something about your academic project and okay, I mean, sir. what is your role and all? That's okay, it. Okay, yeah. My project is optimizing home appliances management using mm -hmm. random forest algorithms. Mm -hmm. Random forest algorithm is one of the machine learning algorithms. No, no. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to technical details. Okay. I'm just asking you what is your role in the project? Okay, sir. What you did? Okay, sir. My role is build the random forest algorithm, sir. Mm -hmm. It is an algorithm so that we can build that algorithm into Python Python language. Already I told you Python is used in this project. Okay, very that good. That is my role. Oh, very good, very good. Okay. So, tell me how much you rate yourself in Python out of 5? Out of 5, 4, sir. Very good. What do you mean of slicing, madam? Extract the part of the data structure, sir. Okay. It has three inputs, start, mm -hmm. stop and step, sir. Okay. Based on the step, uh, step is uh, main part in sir. Based on the step, we can extract the part of the data stream. Very good. Can you write uh, one list? Okay, you take this. Can you take one, uh, no, a list like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. You take those elements. So, I am giving you one slicing. X of minus 2 to minus 5. Minus 2 to minus, minus 5. Minus 5, yes. Tell me what would be the output. Step, step I am not giving any step. Okay, Sir, it is not printing anything. Okay. Why? Why it is not printing sir, anything? Sir, step is positive step, sir. Okay. It takes, uh, it moves forward, so this side, sir. Okay. So, it is not coming towards ending. That's what you are saying. Yes, okay. Very good. Very good. So, can you write, you just take another string. S is equal to apple. I want you to write a logic to find the count of the characters without using count, count function. Without using count, count function. Count function, you need to count the characters. Okay, sir. Yes. For example, if the input is A, your program has to give as output as 1 okay. because A is one time repeated. Okay. If the input is P, it has to give 2. That's okay. it. Okay. Tell me what do you mean of set? Set is a data structure, sir. It is used to store the heterogeneous values. We cannot modify the existing elements. We Very can good. add and remove elements only. Okay. Uh, it follows, it does not follow order. It does not allow duplicate values. Very good. Why we cannot modify the element in the set? Uh, because of hash function and hash table, sir. Hmm. One by one element goes into hash function. The hash function gives the index value of that uh, particular element. Based on that index, uh, it will goes into hash table and store into that particular uh, index value, sir. Very good, very good. So, where we generally use sets? Set is immutable, sir. Only adding and removing elements only. Then it is not immutable. If you are able to add the elements, yes. if you are able to remove the elements, how it is immutable? It is mutable only, right? Sir, we cannot we cannot modify the existing elements. Only these two operations only. Are then you can say it is immutable, not immutable. Okay. Okay. My question is, where we use sets? That's my question. Where we have to use sets? We want to store the data permanently without modifications, any modifications. In that case, we use sets. Sir. Then what, what is about tuple? What about tuple? Set is, uh, does not allow duplicate, duplicate values, so, uh, values, sir. And it allows only unique values. Okay. So, okay. Can you please write a dictionary by using dictionary comprehension? I want like 1 to 10. If the number is even, key should be the number. Okay. Sir. Value should be the cube. If it is even, I want square. Okay. If the number is odd, I want cube. Number is anyway the key, but square is the value or cube is the value. Okay, sir. So, I want the dictionary. Yeah. Range values. Uh, 1 to 10. Okay, 1 to 10. Yes. If, if even it is squared, if it is not even. It true. Is. True. I can write this. Uh, understood. Yeah. Okay. I got your point. Okay. okay Thank you. Very good. So, tell me what do you mean of decorator? Decorator is a special function, sir. Mm -hmm. It is used to uh, change the behavior of the function without changing that function. Okay. Okay. Can you write an example for the decorator? Yes, sir. Any example? Okay. Yes. Uh, tell me the context 
on which context you are writing that i mean what is the requirement you are writing if we are given here negative values it does not address negative very good, very, good, very good write it okay very good very good so tell me what do you mean of anonymous function anonymous function is nothing but a lambda function sir mm -hmm. it is a named function mm -hmm. it creates a small small functions and it takes multiple inputs but it has only one output it provides only one output okay. symbols where we generally use lambda functions in place of normal uh, the functions so we use uh, lambda functions sir uh, for example if you want to write the code in single line okay uh, in that way. okay to make to make the instant functions we use lambda functions small small instant functions yes okay, okay. very good so tell me what do you mean of inheritance acquiring the properties from one class to another class it is called inheritance uh, mm -hmm. the main use of uh, uh, inheritance is code reusability sir okay very good what do you mean of mro method resolution order sir it provides the order to the child class if we have a uh, different uh, parent class parent classes uh, uh, those have the same method name in that case you get the confusion that is diamond problem if you want to solve the diamond problem in that case the uh, mro is comes into picture okay mro is used to based on the c3 linearization then uh, based on that it gives the order to the child table okay okay uh, very good so what do you mean of magic methods in python magic methods are automatically invoked internally they are not existing physically uh, for, uh, they are no no they are not existing they are you don't need to call them physically call them yeah okay, very good this name starts starts with uh, double underscore and ends with double underscore for example uh, in polymorphism con concept use addition but uh, addition is uh, performs different different uh, ways yes. uh, very good behind the scenes you behind mean the scenes, so magic methods, methods are, are what do you mean of exception madam exception is nothing but the runtime error sir mm -hmm. we get the runtime error uh, in that case uh, our program will be crashed if you don't want to crash our program uh, must and should handle that error runtime error that is exception on handle oh, very good very good and how much you write yourself in my scale out of 5 3 sir 3 very good up to sub queries only up to sub queries only you know very good that's enough very good what is the difference between caren varchar car is a fixed length sir var car is a variable length mm -hmm. uh, car supports 250 255 characters uh, var car supports more than 4000 characters sir. okay very good so what is the difference between primary key and unique key we should mention the only one primary key in the table sir if the unique key is multiple the unique keys into one, one table mm -hmm. uh, primary key does not allow duplicates primary key does not allow null values okay uh, we have composite primary keys also okay and unique is allows uh, does not allow duplicate values but it allows null values very good very good tell me what is the difference between rank and dense rank if you use the rank uh, it gives the rank on the table data but it skips the sequence mm -hmm. skips the sequence when it skips you, the sequence uh, if you give the duplicate values in the same column in that case it gives uh, it skips, skips the sequence, the sequence. Okay. in that case so we can go to dense rank sir dense rank don't skip don't the sequence, skip the sequence. Okay. can you please write a query So I want you to find the second highest marks in each department. Example, if you take student, okay. So student is belonging to different different courses. So now, for example, I want you to find who scored second highest marks in each course. In each course. Yes. Okay. Or in other terms, I can say second highest salary in, salary in each department. I please, can write. In please, please. Yeah. Okay. Very good. What you did with the with class? What is the meaning of it? With class is used to create the temporary data. Sir. Okay. This okay. is like uh, temporary data. Okay. If you create the temporary data, we can get the rank too, sir. Very good. By Very using good. with class. Very good. That's it. Very good, man. You're doing super. Really super. No Thank doubt. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.